Berkey. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. The camera is not turned around, so I don't know if it's filming, but I'm going to assume it's filming. You should go check. I'm going to go check. Yeah. <laughs> Timeout links. You can now put people in timeout for 10 minutes next. Oh, okay. What? You can put people in timeouts when oh. people are watching live. Okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Welcome to Family Food Supply. We have missed you. Um, we have had a lot going on. And so that's why we are going to be sharing our Azure Standard Hall live today. Because someone is not editing videos. <laughs> so we have a few Azure Halls back that are sitting on. They're on deck. They're in the hole. Somewhere waiting to and be I'm in edited. the doghouse. Dugout? Dugout. <laughs> Dugout. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. We have a about a $2,000 Azure Standard Hall that we're going to share with you today. Um, we stocked up on some things. We got some new stuff. We have some substitutes to deal with some of the out of stock problems that happen. And we have some of our favorites. So it's going to be a great haul. And as we go along, if you have any questions or anything, feel free and drop them in the comments and we will kind of answer as we go. This was not strategically planned, and so we are probably going to have like uh, Jolene's gonna wake up anytime soon, and kids could come in screaming and all sorts of fun stuff. So you're getting yeah. it real <laughs> today. So if you don't feel like you have patience today, then either just skip this one or come back and like watch it on high speed where you can fast forward <laughs> any of the slow. So let's get after it. Okay, so let's just start right here. We have tried, I believe, all of the, at least the three Azure cleaning products that we're interested in. And those three are the dish soap, the dishwasher detergent, and the laundry soap. And we're happy with all of them. Kevin is telling me to hold on. There's people, just give me just a second. Let me finish my thought. I don't respond to them here, do I? No, I don't, you tell me to respond right. to them. Okay. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Okay. Let me finish. Like, okay. Yeah, let me finish my thought. Otherwise it will be here for a day and a half. Take it away. So we have the, I don't know why it's called Sweet Zephyr. If anyone can tell me why the laundry detergent is called the Sweet Zephyr liquid, I would love to know because I still don't know. It's just what it's called. But it's laundry detergent. We do the fragrance free. And what we have learned is that it's way cheaper to buy it in this tub. Because you can get five gallons for the price of less than four gallons. So it's like buy, buy less bulk. than four, get one free. And all that we do, you want to buy the right cap. There's a screw on cap. And in the description of this, it tells you a couple different things that you can use. There's one specifically that works and the rest of them do not. And so this, you're making really funny hand motions. I'm, I'm stretching my fingers, sorry. Okay. Um, but if you get the right one, then we use the four pack of laundry detergent that we have previously buy. We save those jars and we just refill them with this. So it works really well. And you like it, right? Yes, Kevin's really picky about laundry detergent. So we also buy the dish soap in this. Again, we just save the bottles from one of the bulk orders and then we refill them. And then we also have dishwasher gel. This one does not come in the five gallon jug. This is the most like the biggest bulk amount that I know that you can buy. Be careful. The uh, gel comes in the same exact. No, you mean the dish uh, the, soap. The dish soap comes in the same comes exact. Comes in the same container. Yeah. I don't recommend putting this. And the, I can't the, tell uh, you how many times our children, one in particular, usually Elias, ends up putting the dish soap into the dishwasher and we have a bubble party in the kitchen. <laughs> 
So this box comes with 12 of these, and these last us about one point three five, months. 1.5 to three months? Three months. Yeah, I somewhere think it's in there. about three months. I think I've got, usually what I do is I buy one a month. And so usually I will buy the laundry detergent one month and then the dish soap one month and then the dishwasher detergent one month. But I think it was last month that this one was out of stock or this one was out of stock. So that's why we have two this month. All right. Say okay. hi to Comments. Say hi to Melody Spore. She says, I'm Hi, so Melody. We're so excited to see us. They've missed us. Oh, we missed being here. And it's, Susan Williams says, missed you all. Hi, Susan. It's been, it's, it's been, been, a, it's, been a, it's been a spell. It's a spell. It's, no, we are in a very full season of life and it's all good. Um, just Jolene is growing and keeping us all on our toes. Kevin's work is busy and we have been, um, we've done a lot of stuff just with other people in our community. So that's what's going on. It's not anything like major or dramatic or anything like that, but it's been keeping our lives full. Marjik so. says, glad to see you again. Hope we're doing well. Hi Marjik. She says, hi, it's 11 o'clock over here. So if she passes out, don't take it personally. Um, 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 Netherlands, Netherlands right? Yep, yeah, Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes. And then Tanya McNamara says, hi, I've missed you guys so much. Oh, hi, Tanya. So moving on, let's go to something exciting. Mm, like let's the need for the cutting board. No, no, no. That's like down there. Let's go to the potatoes. Mm, yeah. Because this is something that we have to talk about. Because this is important. Because for the longest time, we recommended the... The 10 five pound bags of potatoes because they were so much cheaper. They're usually like five to ten dollars cheaper than the 50 pound box. But there is a huge difference. We realized by mistake one time the 50 pound box, you actually get big potatoes. That's a big tighter. And so this. I wonder why it does that. Is so much like I feel like it's a better value even. It's like somebody took a bite out of that. Because when you peel, like when you peel a whole bunch of small potatoes, not just even talking about time, but when you peel a potato, like there's a lot more peel that's produced when the potato is smaller. And so you have a lot more waste, unless you're doing like potato skins. And we do a lot of things that we do leave the skins on. Oh, there she is. That was fast. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, Jolene. Hi, Jolene. <laughs> Sorry, my hands. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep her occupied for a few minutes. Yeah, if you can keep her for a few minutes. No, 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 no. And then we'll maybe come up with something to talk about while I'm nursing her. Maybe. Let's talk about something that makes us cry. Like onions. Whoa. We have just our regular yellow onions. This is and has been pretty much a monthly purchase in our house, and like. These are probably the most consistent, perfect produce that we get from Azure. Yep. Every single time they look like this, every single time they're perfect, every single time they last through the whole month and they probably last for months later. So I'm really happy with the onions. I think I've said this probably a hundred times, but if you're buying onions from anywhere other than Azure, just stop and get your onions there because they're because, the best. Yes. Awesome. Um, Let's just go what's behind you. What's behind you? What's behind me? We oh. have oh. a giant sack of soft white wheat because the pricing on this is insane. These are 50 pound bags and I think they were like $19 a bag. So that's what we, you will you used to that's what, cheaper than that. but That's <laughs> what we wheat with. But so when I saw that, I grabbed, I grabbed six of them. Um, we did miss out on our November stock up of all of our wheat. And so I'm going to just kind of do that over the next few months. We have enough hard red. We have enough hard red from last year to last through this year. 
but we do need to stack up still on hard white, but that we'll probably get from Golden because we've got a local distribu distributor here that has even better pricing than Azure. So um, we also have a 50 pound bag of oats. From North Dakota, eh? <laughs> and then we have two 50 pound bags of cane sugar. Cool. <laughs> Could we make a fire? It's no. cold. <laughs> So the cane sugar, we have our kombucha and our water kefir that we need to continue to feed. And then we also, Grayson's making a lot of cookies. So we need sugar. Food. You need our sugar. So um, let's come over here. Eggs. Oh no, you didn't open it. Well, there's no reason to open that. It's just eggs. Kevin was in charge of opening all of the boxes, and he missed this one. I didn't want to open that one. Does Jolene say she needs a mama? Yeah, yeah. Jolene's a mama. Okay. Um, here, let me sit fast and feed her. Um, are there any questions or thoughts? Do no. Do you have anything that you would like to talk about? I'd like to talk about the apples. Okay. And, and the Actually, eggs. that's a perfect thing for you to do. Well, I'm feeding Let's her. do apples. Yes. We'll talk about the apples and do a taste test between them. We have Christmas okay. in a box. Okay. All right. We have three boxes of apples. These are granny apples. Granny Smiths. And they're delicious. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. And then I can't do this one-handed. Hey, guy. Grab that box. Thank, thanks, guy. Oh, and then we have some 20 pounds of QP801. I'm not sure what that means. What kind of apples are these? Look on the side. Cameo? Asher, you're been... That's not right, Cameo? You're two bins, Asher. One minute, I need to go get another Cameo apples. Come so, me. grab those two. Which one's which? Um, they're the same. So it's easy. And then we have one more box. And these are gala. I'm going to. The gala. They, they, they look good. Gala usually are smaller. Usually. All right. I was telling the boys a story about my grandpa's apple tree growing up and the amount of apples that the Grain Smith tree would produce. And there was one year that it produced. Oh, we have a runaway, we have a runaway apple. That's what happens when you don't edit. <laughs> um, one year, it produced like, I don't know, I want to say like four to six bushels of apples out of one tree. I could totally be wrong, it could have been 20, it could have been two. But it was a lot of apples. And then the next year, it produced like 20 25. apples. But they were the size of like a melon. It was the craziest thing. Like it was a double fister for the apple. And it was like you could you couldn't eat the whole thing. So that was quite interesting. Um I'll never forget that. You should ask people what the weather is like there because it is beautiful here. Oh, yeah, what's, what's cold Yeah, what's the weather like, Grayson? Freezing. Cold. We got a big snowstorm coming Here's in. The forecast for today. Cold and snowy. Stay inside. Stay Don't inside. go anywhere. There's the mountains, they're going, they're disappearing. We're supposed to get like eight inches of snow tonight. We'll see. I don't believe it. Shauna Graham says, Hi, I've missed you. Hope you and your family are doing well. We're doing awesome. Hi, Shauna. Awesome. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, are you mixing these? Or are these are these separate? Yeah, oh, I mean, separate. which one is which? All right, what's this? Is this the cameo? Oh, uh, that's the first one. That's the cameo. Give that to mom. Cameo. Cameo. Um, those are, the flavor's pretty good. In the cami? Oh. What's this one? Uh, that's Fuji. No. Gala. Fuji. Gala. Gala, Fuji, no. No, no, no Fuji. No Fuji? Uh, which one's which? I really want to try the honey crisp. Which one's which? Are these honey crisps? Uh, no There's idea. no honey crisp. No idea, no idea. There's cameo. You answered that. Cameo. 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 And Granny Smith. Please don't do that. 
What from Jolene Granny Smith? Says she'll take some applesauce, please. But not really. And then we have the Granny Smith, which of course are um, three. Puckering. Or carp. What does puckering mean? They're not that sweet. They're more. Oh yeah, they're very sour. <clears throat> About that. Melody says it's 50s in Michigan today. Yep. Wow. 50? I bet this cold is coming your way. It, it is. Has, it was like 65, 66. Felt like 70 60. without the wind. Six, 65 degrees two days ago. Yes. It's beautiful. Can I try the other two? Melody, where in Michigan are you from? I want to know. Like general. Buffet. I think we've talked about this before. I think we have, so I don't, I don't remember. Grayson, can I please try the apples? Huh? Yeah, I need a Granny Smith and I need a Gala. All right, let's talk. Let's talk what we use the apples for. Eating. Eating, yeah, mostly. Apple pie. Apple pie. Like 90% apples. of the apples get eaten. We've tried to do apple preserving stuff, but they end up getting eaten usually. Well, we used Don't to buy no. lots and lots of boxes of apples, and then they got super expensive. Apples are actually really reasonably priced this year. About twenty, I think twenty six dollars for a twenty five pound box. It's the best pricing I've seen on apples in probably dollar per pound. I would say like five years. Nice. So dollar per pound. If we have the time, and if Azure still has apples, I'm thinking we do a bulk order next month. So it'll come early January, and we can do some applesauce and apple butter. The one thing I do want to do with these is make some apple pie filling. And freeze it. If anybody out there can make, I want to talk for a minute. If anybody out there makes apple pie filling and cans it, I'm really curious what you use to thicken it because it's my understanding. I know that it's not okay to use any sort of thickener other than like the quick gel that is made thick. for canning. Thick gel. Quick gel. I think it's, is it thick? It's thick gel. Anyway, um, what we have tried doing is we have made Big. Oh, sorry. I was going to go get more apples. <laughs> we have made the apple pie filling, or like any pie filling for that matter. We make it without the thickener. We can it. And then before we make the pie, we heat it up on the stove. We add the thickener and then make the pie. But it's a little bit more time consuming. It's not as dump and go as if you were to actually put the thickener in the canning can mixture. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we're doing. Jolene is almost nine months old. Actually, I think she is nine months old. That's mine. Is it? What is it? I think it's eight. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. She'll be nine months old. Tomorrow. So, Jolene is also eating meat. Meat. And that's about it. And that's about it. She has zero interest in anything but meat. She says she loves her mom and her mom only. Come here. She says no. <laughs> she says yes. She Will says you go no. with your brother. Okay, I still have. <laughs> she growled at him. <laughs> so, uh, Melody says Northern Lower Michigan, Traverse City. Yes, I remember that conversation now. We got married overlooking little Traverse Bay. I think so. Is that what's no. Grand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. What, what was that behind Boyne? What was behind, like, what was the bay? Well, Little Traverse Bay is south of Point Highlands, but... Yes. We got married Excuse on you. Point Highlands. Yes, I know, but the bay was below on the hill you behind us. It. Yes, you could see it through the trees. Okay, okay. Whatever. Anyway. You don't even remember. The, I don't like the gal apples that much. We need to make those into something. I think the cameo are better. Last year, I liked the gala better than the cameo. But you were also kind of joking. Yeah, but no, I don't think they're as good this year. Can you? No, the, I like the cameo better. Yeah. Mary's said it's just above freezing, two degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. 
We're probably about the same. Actually, I think we're colder. I think we're a little bit below. So about like 34 degrees Fahrenheit? Approximately. 31. What did the Jesus decide? Why are you whispering, Harbor? Harbor is making us all what? hot chocolate. Do you want me to do this? These is are my favorite. Hot yes, mine right? too. No, it does. Oh. Mom, 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 yes. Did you tell that I have? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Breslin is really excited. Okay, Breslin got some new clothes. Breslin, it was in desperate need of some new clothes, and I finally ordered them for her. And what happens when we bring get Breslin new clothes is she goes through the mall. And she rips off all the tags, and she strews them all over the house. Alexa, and I said, no more of that. And I got smart. And so today I gave her one outfit. And tomorrow I'll give you another one. And it's going to be day, fun. It's like next, Christmas. I don't know. Next day, next what day. makes you think that you have that many outfits for you? <laughs> in the next day, in the next day. <laughs> next day, in the next day. Yeah. <laughs> We'll Did see. you take off my jacket? Come over here and I'll help you. I can do it, Bethel. Okay. okay. Tori L says, I just brought their organic leeks. They were awesome quality. You know what? We used to get leeks all the time and we used them in the, what was that? Cabbage and leek dress or cabbage. The cabbage and leek dish. Oh. January. We're getting leeks in January. Because it's been a while. Tori, what do you use your leeks for? Yeah. I want to know that too. Good question, babe. So, this is it's a what? mystery box. I like it. That we only have two mystery boxes. Oh. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm happy it's Christmas season. Right? This is the tree we cut down out in the mountains. Isn't it pretty? Oh. Mom, I wear my and that's the tree that we got out of the box. Jacket? Isn't it pretty? Yes. Thank you. Did you get me a new shot? You'll have to ask you one. I'm not getting you a new one. Okay. Potato and leek soup. The time you know, 30, that's, 21, on, that's on my 3, list 2, 1, to fuck. consider. What? Three, two, one. Yep. Okay, because it is Christmas season, I needed to make sure that we had a good stock of extracts. And the two extracts that we were running low on. Hey, you two, be quiet. Were anise extracts. So we have three of these. And then. Oh boy, do I have a story to tell you. We have peppermint extract. Because, and I have three bottles of it. What's going on over there? Breslin, stop. Cut. Breslin. <laughs> so, after Thanksgiving, which I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. We had a wonderful one. Um... Grayson wanted to make peppermint patties because they use mashed potatoes. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, I want, I want mashed potato pancakes and I want mashed potato cookies. And I have no idea what you're talking about, these peppermint patties. Doesn't sound right to have, especially like heavily savory seasoned mashed potatoes inside of uh, chocolate peppermint and chocolate and yeah it just doesn't sound really good and i will tell you i made it go shop for yet Lennon, hey, hey babe can you hold on a minute he made the best peppermint patties that i've ever had in my entire life <laughs> like you want more hey babe can you pay attention i am okay. they are amazing so he made them again, and he's gonna make them again. Them out, no. And he's gonna make them again and again and again. And we've got three bottles of peppermint extract. So I think we've got, we've got. I think there's like there's no more. There's now. plenty. The fact that peppermint patties have potato in them. Do the store bought ones have potato in them, or is it filled with something else? It does not have potato. In them. It's definitely something else. That's just the one recipe that has potato. In them. But hey, you oh too. my goodness, they're amazing. Stop. They are so pretty. No. But they have a lot of sugar. It's like pure sugar 
it's, ball it's five, it's five cups of powdered sugar, half a cup of mashed potatoes, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of... Yeah. Yeah. You covered basic food groups. Moving so, on. If anybody is dying for that recipe, I will share it. The person who wrote it, where we found it, has a really good sense of humor and has a lot of don'ts listed on that. Yeah, it's, so, it's like, don't do this. I'm not responsible for you dying of over overdosing. Of, yes. Of over eating the Okay. So we have rape green olives. <laughs> What do we use right green olives for, babe? Oh, stuff that requires olives. Yeah, uh, What requires olives? Because we also have right black olives. Um, well, number one, our children eat them. Just bruschetta chicken. Bruschetta chicken. Nachos. Um, Italian salads. Yeah. Nachos? Did you say nachos? I said, I said, uh, I said nachos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some other Mexican dishes as well. Um, yep, yeah, there's like a, a couple casseroles. One of these days we're going to pick up, maybe this winter we'll do something. <gasps> no! No! Oh, Fip it! That was being held together by duct tape broke. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's take this, um, Moment for me to fix my Fitbit and Lyndon can share. What is, what would you call this? Cardboard. What? Cardboard. It's just cardboard? Yeah. It's just, it's just, oh, I, I, it's a weapon. You're a, this is a oh. weaponry. This is the armory. Come here, show me. All right. Bring it over. Yep, do it. That's awesome, Lyndon. What's up? So, Lyndon cut these out like two days ago. No, he cut no, these out just now. I cut these ones today. The other ones were I'm really months. impressed with how you figured out to get it to stop because that's not what was working in my mind. I so how did you get it to stop? Totally the string. string so, the str so the string stops it. Yeah. Stops so how do you? So how does it hold it together? It. Like how, how do you? How does it not collapse? How does it go back right? Now show us. Uh, like use it as a shield. Okay. So I'm planning on making it work like this, but I have to make like a a thing a thing to go on your wrist and then fling it out. And I'm going to put two minus on top of this one and right and right here to make it lock in place. And then I uh, what I have to do is just take it off, and then I can just fling it back. And then how do you hold it in place right there? Um, you hold it like this. But how it's going to keep it from flying around? Um. I'm doing that. Um, Mom. I, well, yes. I got to put the. Have my new shorts? No. The. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Handle is more. Okay. Awesome, dude. Thank so, you. so cool. Thank you. Still want my Mohican yeah. 3000. I haven't watched the movie. Am I allowed to watch it too? No, but I'll show you a picture. So. Our videos that we film, that we share normally, that are edited, the edited videos are anywhere from like 20 to 60 minutes long, and they generally take us... Four or five hours. Yeah. Like, sometimes three I, days. No, it's like three, it's like three hours. It, sometimes it takes us three hours. I'm hope, I don't think it's going to take us three hours to do today. No. Because although we have a large order, it's a lot of bulk items, and so there's not a lot of like individual things to share. Hence the only two mystery boxes. So, next up, we have balsamic vinegar. This is one of our favorite Excuse. condiments, like items, and it's gotten expensive. And it's just it like it used to be five bucks, and it's now ten. And so that has been kind of hard. So. It's something that it does go on sale. The best way to buy it is buy the case so you can get a pack of 12 when it's on sale. And you can get a really good deal on it when you do it that way. But it's expensive because it's over 100, like I'm pretty sure it's like, that might be like 90 some dollars. So it's expensive to add to your Azure order, but it is so worth it. So I'm looking forward to getting this stacked back up. So. Another expensive skew is vanilla. Now, this we have actually been going through 
less and less and less because we have been using more and more and more of this guy, uh -huh. the vanilla powder. And that's a whole drama The vanilla story. powder is winning. Whole drama story that I'm not gonna go into right now. Winner. <laughs> For now, if you're gonna buy the vanilla, we like the organic vanilla, which is why it's probably a bit more expensive. Um, the At one point in time, the non-organic vanilla from Azure it changed like the flavor the taste of it changed i don't know what they did but it changed and it tastes what do you say you think it tastes like pina colada don't you pina colada it's the strangest thing so hey two likes anyway we also have all spice because we make we make a number of things that you can use ground all spice in but we also do like mold apple cider and we have a wassail recipe, and those include allspice, like just the whole allspice berries that get mixed in there. If you're looking for a good um, homemade holiday gift, we have done the... Just bags of allspice you just give to people? <laughs> it's really, really good. <laughs> we have given homemade um, mulling spices. Mulling spices. Mm -hmm. And people could, like you put a little card on there with the recipe for the mulling or the mold hat i can't talk mold, mold apple cider there you go but there's a hot in there somewhere anyway mold, hot apple cider. mold implies hot so hot mold apple cider yes so that's fun and i'm almost thinking that you could do i wonder if you couldn't do like a wassail gift box because you would have all the jar like the juice there's a bunch of different juices and some of them are refrigerated so that might be a little bit more complicated i mm. would just go with the mulling spice mix yeah the way what's going on no no no! i have something secret and special in here there's no secrets that in this i'm house. holding at least till the end of the box no no secrets and it is not this giant bag of oh parsley. my goodness <laughs> This has been something that we've wanted for months. <laughs> oh. I'm wondering, that, like that seems bigger than what we've gotten before. All good. I usually do get the pound, but man, that looks really big. So we also have powdered sugar. I've given up on making our own powdered sugar. I think it's too much work. Yep. And so. Because you don't do it anyway. I have. It's too much work for the people in my home who I love. And so we've just been buying the powdered sugar from Azure. And there was one batch that was a little hard and it had to be sifted to be used. But oh. this one feels good. So kind of similar. Almost like you have a plan for these two things. Is cocoa powder. Yeah. So... The cocoa powder, talking about homemade Christmas gifts, homemade hot chocolate mix is another one. And I know we have a video somewhere. If you go on our, like if you go on our YouTube channel, there's a search bar that you can search just that channel. And if you look at like hot, look up hot chocolate, I'm pretty sure that we shared, we have number one, like a hot chocolate recipe that you just make with like, chocolate and you heat it up and all that but this goes into a like powdered mix that's kind of like mix on the fly hot chocolate that's another really great gift to give i think harbor wants to do that this year so if you're one of our friends surprise um and then we have a jug of olive oil and Holy Toledo! Oh my goodness, this has gotten expensive. I think it's up to like $80 for this jug of olive oil. And it used to be, okay, I think it used to be $25, not too long ago. I think we need to switch how we deep fry things. I, you're not doing it in avocado oil. I'm sorry, not avocado, olive. You're not doing that in olive oil. Nope. You're doing it in avocado. But it's still expensive. So right now, and they kind of fluctuate. They bounce back and forth where one's cheaper than the other. Right now, avocado oil is significantly cheaper. Um, 
but they usually like follow each other. So I recommend stacking up an avocado oil before it jumps up and meets the price of olive oil because it's expensive. Okay, and then I have something new that I am excited about. You ready? Azure has come out with their own supplement brand called Azure Well. Wow. So I got two of them. I got their NAC and I got their HCL. And this is just, I just picked two. I will be honest and say their pricing, like I did, I, I did some really quick price compare um, between these and what I take right now. I usually take the Thorn NAC and I take the not pure vital nutrients HCL and the pricing is a bit more but it's not too bad now there was another one I can't remember exactly what it was there was another one that I looked at that the pricing was a little high in comparison when we are looking at pricing we will generally um, like if I'm looking at organic fruit I will look at at the store and I will say like berries specifically. Let's just say organic raspberries. I will say, okay, these, I'm going to totally use like not the right numbers, but these regular raspberries are $5 <clears throat> and then the organic raspberries are $11. If it's more, like, well, that's like more than double, then I just don't buy anything because that's it's ridiculous. expensive. Yes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If it's more, like if it was like $7, I would generally go with the organic. So $5 for regular, $7 for organic. I'll go with the organic. If it's about like under 50% more. And I kind of use a similar like system for, we like to support Azure whenever we can. And if something is a little bit more at Azure, we will go ahead and do that as opposed to buying it somewhere else. But there's some things that just don't even compare and it's too much of a price difference, especially when they're things that like we buy a large quantity of that I can't justify right now, just donating my money. <laughs> so, um, like I said, these two were ones that were kind of more reasonably close to what I'm paying for other supplements. And I also need to see, you know, how, how they are. I'm assuming that they're like, Azure's pretty good with their quality. So I'm going to assume that they're going to be great, but I'll probably switch out one at a time to see how they do. So speaking of hot chocolate, this is too hot to drink. Do you want so, anything on it? I don't think so. Okay. Just plain will be good. It's going to sit there and cool down. Is it empty box? Empty box. Cool. What were they out of? The peanut butter dough. Okay. And Let's do something exciting. Let's find out what's inside this big white box. Hold on, I'm listening to your daughter. Oh. Um, the... Hold, please. Never mind, Harvard, it's okay. The peanut butter, I don't think they have any chips. So... We have an Instacart shopper shopping for us right now, and she's giving me an update. So this is another one of those things that you can buy on sale in bulk, and it's really great pricing. And the Jovial brands are on sale often. So I can't remember if these were on sale or if I had purchased them on sale in the past and they were just had already checked out. I don't know. Um, but we really like the brown rice pasta. When we go grain free, we tolerate the cassava pasta. It's not <laughs> coming back then shaking his head. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not my favorite and it's only like, I really like it in like more of a casserole type application as opposed to 
you won't, don't want to eat it like we're going to have pasta and cheese or something like that. It's just not that kind of pasta. So, but I think I like the brown rice pasta better than the white pasta that we used to get. The white pasta kind of tastes like sugar, maybe, I don't know. Mm. Not that I'm against sugar today, but you know. So we also have a 18 pound box of butter. Now this is actually the backup butter. So we really like our Romiano butter and I like unsalted because I like to salt ourselves. And I also prefer to be able to use real salt as opposed to whatever salt the butter company decides to use. You salt yourself? I don't salt myself. I salt, we salt our food. We salt ourselves. <laughs> we salt ourselves. Anyway, we get the Romiano butter. It's organic, I believe. Yes, Romiano is organic. And the mother's this choice? This not. But look at the look at the packaging, okay? It, it's so sweet. Well, look at this. Like old and... This 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 couple and this child. <laughs> How can you? Yeah, okay. So it's the pride of the table. So we're really like honestly, this is great. The biggest thing is when Grayson makes cookies to sell, we try to use all organic ingredients, and so the label says organic this, organic that, organic that, and. When we don't have the Romiano's butter, I have to actually like change the labeling on the cookie package. And so that's kind of annoying. So we do still have some Romiano in stock, but I ordered two boxes. And so our stock was gonna be beautiful and now it's gonna be lacking. So I just need to, I just, I think I need to order like three boxes every single time. And sometimes they'll come and sometimes they won't. Cheyenne says, uh... Miss you guys. Hi, Cheyenne. It's good to hear from you, not see you. It's good to see you. I can see you through the camera. <laughs> I can see you. I'm watching. And then Hannah says, I use this butter as my backup. It's not bad. It's just a tad crumbly when frozen. The mother's choice, I'm assuming she's referring to. Yes. And then this person named Krusty Drawers says, first, please don't be alarmed by my name. I used to play World Warcraft, and this was my name of my dwarf tank. My question, have you tried the butter trying to get Rumiano? So, yes. Yes, we have been. This is something that we have been using as backup for... I'm sorry, I'm having a... <laughs> Thank you for the explanation of your name because I'm thinking that you probably would have like ignored it otherwise. Yeah. Maybe. Christy drawers. <laughs> um anyway, we've tried it, we've used it, it's great. It usually you know, we do usually freeze most of the butter, yeah. To yeah. start. And so I don't think I've ever If it crumbles good, it would make good topping for messy apple pie. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. So definitely an okay backup and I'm, I'm happy. Like, honestly, it's cheaper, which is really nice. Everybody should just stop trying to get Rumiano's butter. They're not going to get it because if you stop, then we can get it. <laughs> stop buying Rumiano's butter. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come back to this box. What? Let's talk right. about our favorite Nancy's sour cream. All of Nancy's products. Now, if you've watched any of our videos, we talk about the importance of checking out in advance for months so that you can get your sale pricing because the sour cream was on sale last month and so we will now get that on sale for the next few months, which I'm excited about because as you can see, we go through lots of sour cream. Tori L says she just got some. It was a miracle. You, you just got some of this or you got the butter? Probably the butter. And yeah. you know what? I was really bummed because it actually, like, it was looking like it was going to ship. It did not show up as possibly out of stock until, like, the day that they packed our boxes. Yeah. So I was really bummed. Yeah. Tori got our butter. Thanks, Tori. Happy for you, Tori. I'm That's not. Awesome. Not happy for you. 
Okay. We also have... Oh, yes. Now we can properly make nachos. Our jalapeno jack cheese. So, this is the best. It's really good. This is the best jalapeno jack cheese like any of any pepper jack or anything. It's so good. We love it. It's great for everything. And honestly, we've run out of cheddar and used this instead in so many different applications. And it's always delicious. Worked well. It's so good. I don't want that one yet. Stop. Stop it. I'm really concerned that we're missing something. Could, do you think we could watch a karate kid? No. You can if you catch a fly with chopsticks. Really? Really, guys? Sure. I'm concerned that, are you sure that, uh, this could be a problem. It could be a problem. I'm not sure, the garage is kind of a mess, but I'm pretty sure we put everything that was ours on the table. It's, well, I, we counted the boxes. And then we have feta. Oh, yes, we've been out of feta for so long. It hasn't been so long. It's been like two days. It's like two days, and so we get, Again, you buy them in bulk, and I usually, I've done a really bad job of giving you expiration dates. I usually try and share expiration dates. It's like a year. It's crazy long. 9 20 24. Yeah. And so, if you can't use this in 10 months, then... Clearly, you're not you as cool like as you. Yeah. <laughs> the only, like, honestly, the biggest problem is having the storage space for it because it does it sits in our garage but we do go through maybe i think mean, like one a month you know what the awesome thing is about being live you don't have to edit the video well that too but i can do whatever i want and you can't stop me because i got the camera check out what we got next <laughs> da -da, da -da, you can share da -da, it now i'm down to da -da, it <laughs> da -da, da -da, okay let me tell you why though oh, i know i know i know i know okay okay I think we've told too many people about our favorite cheddar because everybody's buying it. Our favorite cheddar is now like it's, out of stock. it's been permanently out of stock. Permanently. And that makes me really sad. So I forgive you though. <laughs> Moving on. I hope you're enjoying my cheddar cheese. So calm down. <laughs> So anyway, I ordered I ordered two boxes of cheddar because again it was one of those things that was out of stock last month. And if you order from Azure the day that your um, cart finalizes, I, that's not what it's called though. Closes. It, no. Well, order, yeah, the, yeah. Order closes. closes. With the day that it closes, they will send you an email and they'll say, "Hey." This, this, and this are looking to be out of stock. Would you like to add a replacement? I wonder if that's an automatic feature or yes, if it's. It, oh. There's not somebody sitting in a cubicle going through and checking everyone's order and saying, oh no, we got to go tell them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, babe. That, that would be really cool. So, anyway, I got that email and normally I just let it go because we normally have good stock, except for the fact that we've been out of cheddar cheese for. A little while, a little too long. There's an issue in this house. We're eating way too much cheese. And so cheese. I very quickly, at the risk of receiving 40 pounds of cheddar cheese, cut the favorite cheddar cheese in our cart. And I added these two as substitutes. So we have the Grazer's Grass-Fed Raw Medium Cheddar. And then we also have the Rumiano Organic Sharp Cheddar. Now, let's try them. Why I didn't get two of the same, like both sharp or both medium or something like that, so that we could do a real comparison, I don't have an answer for you. But we've got 10 pounds of each, and I want to try them and see. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, Harbor. She's putting the dog in the crate. When she comes back, let her do that, because I want to start going through the other box. Okay. What? You want to come cut up some cheese? Come cut some cheese. Absolutely. Cut some cheese. Will you bring that over here? And bring what? The cutting board? Yeah. Edit. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> beep. Bop. Bop. Beep. Cheep. Okay, there we go. Well, she's cutting. Shut you want. How's that jump How cut? I need you to that try was awesome. Both. We need to yeah. do a, a taste test. And you're going to need to. Azure. Or not Azure. Safe one. 
Save it. Oh, okay. Is he still there? I don't know. You're, uh, you're going... No. Okay, okay. okay. You're going to need to um, imagine what the one we normally get tastes like, because I don't have any to compare it to, which really bothers me. I think it's been like three months. I think I had three months worth, and then it was gone. Oh boy, this is not as exciting as a box of a box that I was looking, hoping for. You ready? We have whole milk powder. Oh yay! And whole milk powder. Oh and whole milk powder. Wait for it. And whole milk powder. Hold on. Hold on. I thought there was supposed to be five. Yeah, you did five. I Hold on just a second. Don't tell her which one that is. I'll try it then. So, there's only four. Yeah. Maybe there's, Jeez. maybe I only got, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. So, what we do with our whole milk powder is we put it in our bath. No! <laughs> put it in our bath, our chocolate bath. But, yes, we also use it to make hot the hot chocolate powder that I was talking about with the powdered sugar. Speaking of which, here is another powdered sugar. Carver wanted to make a whole bunch of hot chocolate. Whatever that one that we described is good, I like it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here's another powdered sugar. Yay. I will be totally honest and say that I actually started with a 50 pound bag of powdered sugar and I probably should have just done it. Yeah, but I had so many other bulk bags that instead we went with what? 20 pounds of five pound bags instead. Honestly, the idea of dealing with like- 50 pounds of powdered sugar? And I can't remember if it was 50 or 25. No, it was 50, it was 50. The idea of like, if somebody accidentally put a hole in that, that could be disastrous. Well, packaging up sugar that's powdered is really cumbersome. Well, yeah, and Harvard does it in the five pound bags, so. No. So I don't know. Mm. Okay, so this is the sharp Romiano. Correct. How do you think it compares to? It doesn't. Well, they don't, but they're still good. Mm -mm. You like Would you rather have no cheese? Mm -hmm. I like it. What one do you like better? I like the medium. Whoop! Sorry. I really like the medium. Um, okay, like so here's the deal. The medium... I'll talk for a second. Okay, here we go. Um, I like the charm. The sh really? I said the me I okay. like the medium. I was the medium like is, I think, would be really good on things like nachos. Because I feel like the medium is going to melt better. And the sharp... We're going to have to experiment. The sharp just has like a pungent kind of taste. That's because it's, it's sharp. called sharp cheddar. But the Sierra... <gasps> We cheese feta? is really, really good. You know what's missing though? I'm pretty sure I ordered mozzarella. Kiwi? Kiwi's missing. And I don't see any mozzarella. Yep, I think that you did order mozzarella and I think it is missing because I don't remember seeing it. Which is so disappointing because we still have lasagna to make. Yep, and you just ordered from Costco. Fa la 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 la. Cut. Okay. Back jack. Okay. okay, so we have chocolate chips. Oh, I did. You wouldn't go in. Yeah, I didn't even put it in. And take some cheese. Here, here. Chocolate chips. And chocolate chips. And nope, this is another one. Okay. Oh yeah. We have some friends that are gluten free. We have a handful of friends that are gluten free. Yeah, gluten free. People. And. In the past, oh, we've yeah. never gone gluten-free. We always go grain-free. And so, I've never done a lot of gluten-free baking. But, but, in taking one little step towards, Grayson wants to make some gluten-free cookies for our business as well. So, in a stepping in that direction, we got some white rice flour, and we're gonna experiment and see how that goes. Hmm. I was... That was not nearly as exciting as what I was thinking it was going to be. <laughs> it's not at all. I thought maybe it was going to be a gluten-free blend. Blend? Well, we have a gluten-free blend, and I don't love it, 
Plus, we have one person in particular who can't have almond. And so gluten-free blends include almond, generally. And so, like, and that's what we've always done is, like, almond and coconut flours. Honestly, so. I'd rather just not eat grain. Yeah, then than just, substitute. I yeah. know, I was talking, I was talking the other day about... Sugar and if like about I'd rather just sugar substitutes. No, nope, I'd rather like, not eat sugar. I'd rather either eat sugar or not eat sugar. So okay, that is all of our Azure haul. Um, I let's open it up for personal questions. Let's get spicy. It's Friday. Let's not. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> never mind. Have a good night. I hear no, no, no. I do want to say something though. You hear Jolene? I yeah, I hear Jolene. Oh. She's calling me. Um, I think that it's probably going to be a while before we get back into a good groove with videos again. So I think we'll probably do a handful of live videos to say hi, stay connected because connected. it's, it's what we can do right now. And so I was thinking about it. We actually, we, I... we did a, um, accidental impromptu spontaneous cleaning of our and organizing of our food supply room we were going to record it but we didn't it was exhausting because it, it was not planned and do you know why it wasn't planned well, <laughs> do you know why hold on it didn't work sorry hold on we had a mouse issue mice yes there was a mouse issue okay anyway um so there's still two parts. We need to finish the cleaning section and then all the herbs and spices down there need some final story. And we need to put all of this away. And we need to put all this away. Um, but I love, and I need to finish my labels. My labels for the, oh, it's, it's going to be beautiful. Having a clean and organized home is so freeing. Oh, it feels so much better. <laughs> I'll uh, actually go in there. Doing our inventories for like buying things. Christy would be like, just go do it for me, please. Well, yeah. In the past, I'm like, I'm not going down there. And you went and did this it. This order, I'm like, I'm gonna go walk around in there by myself, and it was so wonderful. Walk around. So like, you can we, walk around. You don't have to kind of like do one of these. So I'm thinking that we're gonna share that, and we'll do it live. I'm just concerned about the lighting. Oh, hogwash! Lighting's fine. It can be can. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. And then number two is that there were some videos that I really wanted to do kind of like Azure, like beginner Azure videos, intermediate and advanced sort of videos on how to tips and tricks and all of that. Maybe like some drop coordinator videos as well. And we talked about doing these and I like partially halfway planned them, but we just Never did it. haven't sat down to film them. And so maybe we'll do those live as well. Maybe. Um, we do have one comment here that needs to be addressed. It says, Hannah Kelly says, I consider myself a pretty organized individual, but I binged all of your videos. And it has helped my grocery bill a ton. Thank you. Oh, yay. Oh, and Marjik just says, how did you save your stock from mice? Did you have to throw any of it away? Made, made it consider to store some things different, et cetera. Okay, here, let me, let me. Hold on, no. hold on, no, Kevin, no. Stop. We will do this together. No, this is gonna be quick and easy. Okay. It doesn't have to be okay. a long thing. All right, fine. So what happened was we had some mice in the garage. We don't have our food in the garage, but we had some mice in the garage. And then all of a sudden there was a mouse inside. Well, no, I sh there was a mouse that was seen inside that we believe one of the cats brought in, half killed it, was playing with it and decided to let it free in our house. And it made its way from our bedroom to the kid's bedroom to the kitchen. Well, when the evidence of this mouse was showing itself, we assumed that there were more than one mice more than one mouse, and that they had gotten in from the garage. 
And so we were really worried. And Kevin went into the food supply. No, he had the boys go in the food supply room and pull everything out, which was a total disaster. And took over the basement so that we couldn't get to anything. I couldn't get to any of my books. And we realized that there were no mice down there. So it was like, oh, happy day. There's no mice down here, but we still have this. Holy crap, disaster this disaster is everywhere. That we had to deal with. Yeah. So. Honestly, my biggest thing is that <clears throat> we did a lot of canning in the past year and it was getting put down there, but it never really had a rightful home. And so the canning jars were just kind of everywhere and I didn't know what we had or what we didn't have. And it ended up that we had like 200 and some cans of chicken broth, which is beautiful. But we had like... I think we had gone through like all of our beans. We're, we've gotten some pinto beans back up, but we really need to can some pin, like some beans in general. Yeah. That whole shelf. And so being able to just see a beautiful stock of what we have, I promise we're going to share it soon. Yeah. Well, um, Mary G says that. It says, uh, Renee says it's 68 degrees in Florida. Well, that's fine. You have crocodiles and stuff, so <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> And then thank God and thank you from some people. So let's do this. Let's close. Let's let Jolene come say bye. Uh, right. She might just cry. No. All right. Well, from the Comstock clan to all of you, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, bye. Oh, Jolene. Jolene. I would like to, well, maybe. Yeah. What? We might not be back. Before, I'm just being honest. Before Christmas, but we might. Hi, Jolene. Hello. She says she wants to try some cheese. No, she does not. She can try cheese. You want to um, try cheese? I'm going to smack you because try that's cheese. what makes her throw up. Yum, yum, yum. yum. <laughs> Bye. Sweet little miss. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes. Okay.